Iranian actress Leila Hatami caused quite a stir in Iran after she went to the Cannes Film Festival and she got a kiss on the cheek from uh, someone by the name of uh, Gilles Jacob. He is actually the president of the film festival. And apparently you're not allowed to kiss anyone on the cheek or have anyone kiss you on the cheek when you're in public. That's a strict rule in Iran. And so Iran's deputy minister of cultural and Islamic guidance uh, chastised her and said that all women, Iranian women specifically, should be a symbol of chastity and innocence. Uh, so who knows what's going to happen when she uh, arrives in Iran, when she goes back to Iran. People are thinking that since she's so famous, they're probably going to let it pass. But it's a little crazy that all she did was receive a kiss on the cheek and people are freaking out over it. So uh, I want to get your thoughts on this, guys. Jimmy, let's start with you. Sex is bad. I've said it a million times. I don't care what religion is right. Sex is bad. And w uh, Iranian women are a symbol of chastity. And uh, the other Iranians show up uh, by magic. That's mm -hmm. uh, There's no fucking happening in Iran. Brett? Um, when in Rome, just get your face kissed by a French guy. <laughs> Uh, the best part about this is like you see the shot of the woman being kissed mm -hmm. and they get all pissed off. But if you pan left and right in con, everyone's naked. People are drunk, they're yeah. dirty, they're having sex all over the place. This is the chastest thing that's happening in France right now. Yeah, it's a little amazing. Um, I've read multiple articles now about how there's like this underground uh, rebellion in Iran where a bunch of young people are getting together and having these massive sex parties and these massive orgies. And the reason why they're doing it is because if you say that something is forbidden, people are more likely to want to do it. It makes a massive orgy even more exciting. Now, we live in America where I massive can... Massive orgies can, are all yeah, the time. Yeah, no, no, well, they, there probably are massive orgies, but no one tells me hey, you can't have sex, you can't kiss this person, you can't do that, right? So, I don't know, I have no interest in a massive orgy, but I think that if I lived in a country where people are telling me that I need to hold back my sexuality, I'm more likely to want to do things to basically give authority the middle finger. Now, she did apologize. She issued an apology saying that she had forgotten the aforementioned rules, which comes with old age. So, question for this story is, have you ever had to apologize for something when you know you weren't really wrong for what you did, Brett? Yes, all the time. I'm in a relationship. It happens. You apologize, you get mad, and then you have your moment where you go in the other room and you're like, ha-ha, I'm winning this. And then you come back and you realize, oh god, this is so much easier if I just apologize, and so you do it for everything. That sounds healthy. All right, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, uh, when I was younger I had... Uh, I did not, it was not my baby. We, I went, it was not my baby. Mm -hmm. And uh, turns out it wasn't my baby. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. All right, mm -hmm. okay, we're getting real. Th Billie things Jean. are getting real on the show. Mm -hmm. um, I had to apologize after one of my bullies in high school pushed me, called me a white bitch, and then I responded by calling her ghetto. So. The, the counselor decided that she didn't have to apologize to me for physically assaulting me and calling me a white bitch, but I had to apologize to her for calling her ghetto because that was racist. And, and that, admits, um, that counselor's name is? <laughs> <laughs> so I had, to, I had to write an apology to her and I had to hand it to her and I remember handing it no! to her. No! Yes. That's the worst. And she was my bully. Like she bullied me through all throughout high school and I never bullied her. Like I had no, so I had to go up to her. I had to go up to her with a note it's all folded, it's all nice, right? And I give it to her. Here, you give it to me. And she was like, in front of the entire class. Oh my, oh, now, she, now she's it. acting like a white bitch. <laughs> That's funny, because that, the black, I'm assuming black person, was acting like a white bitch. Uh, so <laughs> All right, so tell us what you guys think. Have you had to apologize for something that you uh, didn't really do or didn't feel was wrong? We want to hear from you guys. And also, what do you think about Iran and their massive orgies that are taking place as a result <laughs> to some of their anti-sex laws there? Uh, tell us what you think. We love hearing from you, and we'll see you guys soon.